Hello, Mortio. That's not the cam. This is Hello, Mortio. We're playing a game where every time I blink, the story skips ahead. Um, that's it. That's it. This is a game about blinking. See, every time you blink, the game will notice. Wow! Oh, that's so cool. See how this works? Oh, I'm already, okay. Should I? Oh God. Is the cam size good, guys? Try blinking on the white symbol. What? On the white symbol? Oh, okay. Huh? Wait, hold on. Can we just wait a little bit? Are we- are we good? Okay. Maybe zoom in more for- No, I, th I think we're good, right? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I shouldn't look away. It'll think I blink when I do that. Yeah, we're fine. Wow! When you see a metronome and blink, you'll jump forward. Keep blinking. Stranger. Whew. You're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak Wait, if with. I blink now, does it skip? Hands to shake with. Or nose to look down with. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you. If that makes any sense. So Only with a metronome. You understand okay. what I'm okay, saying. I can blink now. Uh, okay. Blink over my hand here. Okay, yeah. You, you remember, remember blinking, blinking don't you? Okay, yeah. <laughs> that thing. You... Ooh, well, look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there? Lost in the waves? I didn't choose any of them, I chose you. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch, or what's a better word? Notion? Mm, better word than that. Ah! Premonition. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. Why, why am I blinking so much? I'm not going to be able to do well now when we play. You see that tower out there? The big, scary one? That's where I'm taking you. To see the gatekeeper, to be judged. I'm okay, gonna I need to blink. I need to get out of my system. Tell her the whole story of your entire life, from prow to stir. Okay. If she's impressed. I get paid the big coin, and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't, well, I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you, well. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> oh, shut up, you trash birds. You had your chances. It wasn't my fault you were no good. Layabouts. Unsatisfactory. <laughs> Clock watchers. I got some words for you. <laughs> so 
Sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> now I can pause, right? Very good. Very good. Okay. So sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Hello. Your life. You're going to show it to me. I want to see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So, just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember. And I'm going to send you there. Okay. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not going to be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. It could be a second. Ah, shit. Five years. Okay. That's just how this thing works. No, I'm really stressed out. I, I... Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm going to send you back. Now, don't be afraid. And don't try to Okay. I'm afraid. The thing to remember about blinking is, well, it's only a matter of time. And just try to enjoy it this time. Okay. Okay, before we start, let me do one last blink calibration, because even there, I don't think it completely took my blinks. Hello. Oh, maybe we're good. I think we're good. Maybe I went out of the box when I, because I for a while I blinked and nothing happened. All right, I'll stay. I'll stay here. Okay. <sighs> Look at that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Okay, so I can blink as long as there isn't that. Why are you smiling like that? Oh. You must really like it out here, huh? Well, I get that. I like it too. Oh. Mm. Let's go get you some seashells. What do you say? You see that big spiky plant over there? That's called Nagave. Eleven years from now, that plant will die so it can give birth to this tall, amazing tree covered in flowers. We'll have to keep our eyes on that one. Day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Now where's the first page of my piece? I can't find it anywhere. Did I put it in here? No. Oh, interesting. I found it for you. What? Mom! It flew away! Eyes of steel. <laughs> Look at that! There's your little hand. We have to make him do this every birthday. <laughs> That's a great idea. Oh, you want to play along with mommy, don't you? No! I didn't blink! I wanted to play! Sounds good, honey! I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Hello, Dad. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. 
Yeah, what do you like about it? What do I like about it? I like the music. That's very specific. I also like the person playing it. Yeah. I'm worried that might have something to do with it. Hmm. Look at his little face. What do you think he's thinking about? Uh, I don't know. Probably solving the problems of the universe. Yeah. I don't see why not. I mean, we're both pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean he's going to be, necessarily. You're right. No. You're right. <sighs> no, it's not derivative. At least I didn't think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. I'm gonna no. be a sailor. I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Thank you for considering my piece, John. It really means a lot. Oh, that's sure a little mess of color. Thank you. What? Ba ba! No! Why? Hey, we do not throw things in this house. But it if told you're me mad to. That you aren't good enough yet. You'll just have to keep working at Okay, it. I'm sorry. Oh, there's decisions you know, to make. One day you'll be able to paint exactly no. what you have in your head. I swear, if that's the one you'll step be a for. Real artist. I will be. No, I'm I'm gonna do better in the next test. Unlike Fuck. Okay. Scrap. See? That used to be my piano. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. God, he made me practice so much. I hated it at first. I think he hoped to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Never said anything, though. He was what you might call the strong, silent type. Can you believe I grew up in the snow? And I came all the way out here to the beach. I don't even know how I got here. Your dad got his job and I just came with him. Like a human suitcase. Hey, Benny. Are you ready to see something really special? I am, Dad. I just don't Show want me. to get attached. Richard. What? A rat! The cutest thing I've oh. ever seen. Yeah, it's a cat. What's wrong with that? We can't keep him, can we? I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? No. We'll find someone to take him. But while he's here, I say we call him Ernie. <laughs> Little Ernie. Fits him, doesn't it? Oh, he's so cute. He's so sweet. Can I pet him? I think someone likes his new cat. Richard. What? His cat. <laughs> yeah, I just mean, for now. Of course we're not going to keep him. Right. I believe that. I know where this is going. For now, honey. <laughs> Ernie. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Okay. Remember? No. There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? Now what about C minor? You remember how to play that one? Very good. Just oh, one note okay, different. Cool. But that one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. 
<laughs> sort of like me and your little friend on your piano there. Bye, Mom. She was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes, you know which I very quickly lost. God, she dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. Where would you want to go if you could only go to one? Grace. Well, just remember to put on sunscreen. <laughs> Man, I gave you some unfortunate genes, didn't I? Luckily, Mom gave you some good ones, so yeah, let's hope they balance each other out. Easily, Grace, come on. Time to take on the piano. Don't trip. Wait, is that... that's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Richard, I don't know, I'm just clicking random numbers or ra random places. What? He's playing my piece. He must have figured it out by ear. I mean, I was a gifted kid, but he's brilliant. We need to get him into serious piano lessons. Yeah, sure, but you know anyone who might be a good teacher for him? What? I, I mean, in the city, sure. Not out here, I don't. I mean, I know someone who might be up to the task. Shit! Who? Who was up to the task? Oh god, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. What? I can draw. Hey, I already did. How old am I? For a moment I forgot what a great father you are. Focus on the interview, honey. I got this. What fucking reach it? What is this? Goodbye. Excuse me, of course, sir. It's all organized into folders sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. What could possibly happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? We are fine. Oh, you peed! Ew! He peed! When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? You're a working woman now. I guess that's true. Don't let it go to your head, but yeah. Please let the cat know. It's time to use the litter box, though. Baby steps. He's got one eye. What? He doesn't know how to use a litter box? It's not like second nature to these things. What? Bye, Dad! Okay. This is called a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. Why? 
You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. He said, yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I could live... What? No, I sorry. I haven't seen him in over 10 years. Can you believe that? I wonder if he'll even recognize me. Okay. Interesting. So he's gonna teach me. Grandpa's gonna teach me, I think. Who's calling? Oh, God. Interesting, I don't get to find out. Thought maybe if I held long enough, someone would come and answer. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Did he die? Is Grandpa dead? Subdivide the time. 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e e and a 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e. 1e e and a 2e e and a... You're off. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that? What? Mom, I did it! What? I did it! Was I too late? There you go, buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it. Just like that. Oh my. Well, don't think you like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L, so we can photograph you. No, I don't think I was meant to time it, guys. I was just meant to follow the light. At first, I thought I was meant to time it. I think, in terms of difficulty of the game, I was just meant to follow the light. Sorry, what did you say, Pa? Ah. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first, but if you keep going back out there every day, you'll be surprised by how much it changes. Okay. Hold on! Ernie, we need you! God, Elle, what have you got eaten by a coyote? My sinuses would be eternally indebted. Oh, no! What did you just say? No, I, I said I'm really worried. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! God, honey, I'm worried too. I know, sweetie. Ernie! Oh, no, Ernie. So you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But oh, shit. Ernie's a boy. And you're sure about that? Hi, Ernie. How you doing? Uh-huh. And that was based on... Pee-hole distance. Say that one more time, sweetie. Pee-hole distance from the butt. If it's further away or something... I'm still not understanding how you let this happen. I don't know. I didn't think about it. It just... It just happened. You just happened to find a stray cat in the alley. We keep it even though I hate cats. And now it just happens to pop out five more. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you hated cats. For a professor of signs and symbols, you're really bad at reading them. Okay, that that's funny. And that's really witty. I let us keep him for Benny. And I'm happy about that. I really can't have five cats around the house. It's just not sustainable. He keeps coloring the grass blue, the ocean green, and then the sky red. And what's wrong with that? No, are you kidding? I love it. Huh. Are you able to pick up the new book? Yes. 
Yes. The Manila Galleon is of particular interest. I meant Benny's book. Oh, yeah. Got those two. It's extremely expensive, right? No, no. Can't put a price on learning. Funny they did. And it's stupidly good. What? Is it a zombie game? I'm scared to do too many facial reactions in case the game thinks that I'm glinking. I'm really curious what's behind these doors. So I'm not gonna move at all. Hopefully, the door is open. Shit! No idea what that was. I know, it seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex. What the fuck? You bitch. Who said that? <laughs> but Watch just me. But take it one day at a time. Trust me. You're really getting there, honey. Next week we'll start working on your other hand. Listen to him, Richard. I'm enlisting him in that competition. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. Not if you win. That's right. Look at me now. Look at me now, Mom. We done? Okay. Okay. Two brackets on each side. Two screws. Oh, he's looking older. Uh, two washers on each screw. So that means we need eight washers. We have nine. Dad? Dad, where'd you go? Daddy? Daddy? <laughs> what? Man. It's auto save, right? Come on. It's gotta be auto save. Iskects, Bruce Milk, Kingswood, The Madman, D. Philip Hetzel, I Was Energy, Ed Dillinger, Rutledge, Flassy Mamo, Jordan, and Sarah Bear. Welcome back, you guys. Thanks for the resubs, everyone. And AFR, AFR, thanks for the sub. Welcome. Enjoy your stay. Continue. Here we go. I'm back, Dad! Wait, where the fuck am I now? I'm in fun. Oh god, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely- Man! <laughs> now I'm worried about my progress. Yeah, I'll draw you, you fucking asshole, Ernie. Don't worry, I already did. For a moment I forgot what a great father you are. I, I don't want to skip ahead too much because I made progress on some parts. Sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. Like taking what the pictures. What happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? We are fine. No, I think chapters would only show so much that it's as much as it's saved. Um, When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February. Remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do like that. Like drawing here, stuff like this. I think is progress. Why not? You're a working woman now. I guess that's true. Don't let it go to your head, but yeah. 
I'm also not blinking. God damn it, game. Why'd you have to do this? <sighs> oh. Yeah, it's reverse. It's also horrible quality. Oh shit, I didn't do what you wanted me to. Fuck, did you say like I blink a bunch? Out. No, no. Was it good? I couldn't tell. I think it was good, right? Yeah? Missed some? I don't know. It's fine. Got them all. We'll see. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. Oh, why did it have to crash, dude? To visit. I was really invested. Even my father once told me when I was about your age. Yeah, yeah. The Can we... only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him, what about your children? <sighs> Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. He said, yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I could live... I haven't seen him in over 10 years. Can you... Can I answer this phone? I don't think I can, because last time I did this, last time I did this, he just started eventually. You can't? No, okay. really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Subdivide the time. 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e. You're off. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that? Fuck you. There you go, buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it. Just like that. Oh my. Well, don't think you like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L, so we can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first. So for those who are just joining us, we crashed a little bit ahead of this. So I'm kind of speeding through it a little to get back to where we were. Ernie! Ernie. Buddy! Ernie. Ernie's missing, the cat. So you're he's back he's and he's pregnant. He's also no longer male. He's now female. But Ernie's a boy. And he's still not understanding how you let this happen. They're arguing? I don't know. They're mad about it. He keeps coloring the grass blue, the ocean. Are you able to pick up a new book? Yeah. Yeah, they're talking about books and shit. Here we go. Now, what the fuck is this? I don't understand what this is. Sounds like somebody eating something. The mom's eating Ernie. I know. It seems impossible right. that you could ever play something so complex, but just take it one day at a time. Trust me. You're really getting there, honey. Next week, we'll start working on your other hand. Not if you win. 
That's right, mother! I will win the world! I'm the best pianist you've ever seen! Let's move on. Here we go. Okay. okay. I'm pretty much there now. This is where I crashed, I think. On each side. The quiz said find the zero, and he just drew an arrow pointing to it. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? I mean, everything is wrong with that. Um, that's... I like that. I, I'd love if my kid that, did that. Congratulations, B! First of many, I'd assume. I want that box full by the time I come in there. If you don't play with it anymore, we're getting rid of it. Ooh, I surf. Very nice. Hello, Chloe. Fall back, you fool! Huh. I'll have your head. I'll feed them to the cat. Hey, you! Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Come over here. Okay. Yes, Mr. Camera Boy. I'm talking to you. She spotted me. I must creepily approach you. Why are you always out here taking photos? I like. You know, if you really want to take a the photo, way it makes of me feel. Cool, you should take a photo of this. I I blinked. What? Oh shoot! Okay. I think I gotta go. But okay, um, yeah, yeah. try to take a photo of me running into my house. I'm pretty fast, so I don't think you'll be able to. Oh, watch me, kid. Try. Boom! Nice try! How did he do that? I... I mean, I clicked the button. I... Quiet, everyone. Benny's about to play for us. Wow, L. He's unbelievable. My Thank God, you. I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Didn't you used to be a composer yourself, L? No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but I haven't done that in years. Not since I was four or five years old. And, and what do you do, Richard? He's a professor. Of what? Well, no one really knows. No, I mean, what's his field? Uh, it's maritime archaeology. Very cool. Hmm. But no one really knows what it means. Yeah. Unknown legend. <laughs> it's kind of one of those professions that stops a dinner party short. What the fuck, El? Okay. More wine? I'll have a little more wine, please. Yeah. Oh, no. Ooh, things are falling apart. What the hell? This is world history. My name is Mr. Isaac. Hi, Mr. Isaac. Class will be broken up in hey, you. Units. Hmm? Look on your desk. I wrote you something. Dear weird neighbor kid, we are in the same class. What a coincidence. Please keep in mind that while we're at school, we don't know each other. Do not talk this to me cool. ever. Love, I want Chloe. each of you to write it down. Not doodle on the sidelines, not stare off into space. Now, I will go on to the next slide. Chloe, tell me, what did the quote say? Um, right, I definitely know this. You were taking notes, weren't you, Chloe? I got you. So those who do not remember the past, repeat the past. That's right, right? Indeed it is. Though I'd prefer you to answer without the help of your boyfriend next time. If you broke we my new talking ball, but I asked you to, so I guess I'll have to live with it. In all sorts of ways. And now, on to what you've all been waiting for. Grace! The 
assessments. Can I ask? I'm not allowed to. Okay, no, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I got you. No, this is good. Nice. That's work we do about our class. Participation, 20%. I will give you a moment to write this all down. Hit me. I'm not blinking. Show me the next slide. Mr. Isaac? Do it. I don't think there's any space, actually. See ya. I tried to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. Half suspect he bought it for himself. <laughs> the little guys are pretty cute, though. I will admit that. Oh, I want the job of whoever gets paid to think of that crap. Come. What? I cannot tell what this says. Cone. Conchester. Cone. Huster. Conchester. Conchsters? What the hell is Conchsters? <laughs> the fuck is a Conchster? A new con contestant has approached. At long last, your favorite consters are ready for battle for the playscape. Join Marquis and her four sad brothers as they search for their lost mother. I don't know what the f fuck this is. I'm out of here. Conscious a shell? Oh sure. We sit together in history class. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. Your dad just thanked me for hanging out with you? Uh, That's a very interesting detail. Okay, my dad's a lovely guy. I really want this one. Maybe I'll use... Tickle sticks. Whoa! That's a pretty good drawing. You should draw pictures of more different stuff. Not Thanks, me, Chloe. Though. I'm gonna be drawing you next. I'll kill you if you try to draw me, and you saw what I'm capable of in your backyard. You're looking beautiful. Benny, why did you draw me? You're not good enough. I look so ugly. You look Ugh. beautiful. It's called a magnet school. <laughs> It's about an hour away in a town called Burton. I know the change can be scary, but I just want you to go in and meet the dean I spoke with. My eyes are really dry, Mom. You to some incredible places if you're really, really good at something. It's just, you've had so much trouble making friends at Playco. No, I have Chloe. I want you at a place where people really get you. Can I say no? So what do you think? Benjamin, you think you could excel in that sort of an environment? No. How do how do I choose no? I want to be with Sorry, Chloe. very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? We'll get a few pieces that you can have him start learning. I'm eager to hear what your son is capable of. Hmm. I'm gonna fail it. I'm gonna fail it. I don't want to go to the school. Happiness doesn't come from success. It comes from love. As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there. And a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no pressure. I just want you to try. And we can see if you start enjoying it. Just like to see you really rise to the occasion. No. Just this once. I wish I had the option of going to a school like I'm not your second chance, age. Mom. I wouldn't be working. I want to live my own life. I want to create my own story. Town, I'll tell you that. What was that? Was that the piece? Bye bye. What's going on with you these days? Throw it out the window. Oh no. Okay. Remember, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Face until audition thirty. Don't answer that, Ben. 
You can talk to your friend after you practice. I'm talking to Chloe. What? No! No! No, no, no! I looked up- Nah, man. What? Man- I- I mean, I- Oh, perfect. Oh my god. Yep. Is she really calling you again? What, is she obsessed with you? So listen, I found a conscious- What are you doing? I explicitly asked you not to pick up the phone. Oh, he's fine. Let me talk to her. Oh, what do you know about anything that's going on right now? Okay, you know we're just, we're talking about consters. Your voice like that. Well, then don't stick your nose into things that you're completely checked out of. Okay. Oh, man. Did I, I just cause a fight with your parents? Think you I'm did, sorry, but it it was no, worth it. You should also no, cherish these moments. My mom and dad used to fight, and I would always hate it. But now I actually miss it a lot. Anyway, so basically across the board. Crustacean types perform well against mollusk types. So, we gotta be leaning on lobster a lot more in these reef battles. I have to blink. I'm then sorry, Chloe. Anubis, in the presence of Ma'at, who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, would weigh the deceased soul against a feather, determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. And what if they are deemed oh, unworthy? Fuck. So sorry. Well, you can see that ugly fur ball under the scale. Hey, that Mr. Is Kid. And she's Over got here. And yes, that's, that's a she. Look at it. The head of a crocodile. Dear weird neighbor. Of a kid. Lion. Tonight, Sheep. after my dad goes to sleep, I'm going to sneak out of my house and go to sleep on the beach. If you well, want to get invited, draw me a face. picture. Of now, Mr. Isaac feeling constipated. As you can see, she Love is ready to devour any of the deceased who do not pass judgment. <laughs> sort of like. Ew, why is he so weird. scared looking? Okay, I'll call you when I'm leaving my house. You better pick up my call, dude. Right now. Hello. Slightly worried about having him change schools just as he's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for him. Okay, well listen, I don't claim to understand the motives of children. Richard, Benny has a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean, this is no offense at all. I found love. But I don't think you actually really understand what that is. Huh. No, I suppose you're right. Oh, Richard, please. I'm my own person, Mom! Why do you like that? Lights out! You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. Richard, tell your son to turn the lights off. Benny, mom says turn the lights off. Not mom says, you say. Benny, I say turn the lights off. I love dad. This is mom. Huh? Tell him you're okay. I'm trying. We're supposed to be united front. United front. Benny, damn it. Benny, turn those lights off. Anybody? Mom wants the light. Benny, we want the lights off. We? We. Mostly your mom. Oh, all right. Sorry. Richard? I got you. You're sleeping on in the, the yard. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the yard? The yard? Oh, yeah. I didn't even book the couch. Chloe! Yes, Chloe, hello! Sneak out! I'm out of here! Wow, didn't think you'd actually pick up. I'm a sticky for a baby, I apologize. Okay, so meet me out in the alley in T minus now, okay? Chloe, out. See you soon, Chloe. <gasps> you know, I'm really glad you're here. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Or to get off my chest. 
don't think Conksters is actually a really good game. My cousin Yoon, he was in town this weekend, and he was explaining how it's actually a ripoff of a really good Japanese game. He calls it a cash grab. So I'm sorry that I made you like it because it's actually a terrible game. But I also think that if it was a really good game, maybe we wouldn't have enjoyed playing it as much. We would have been so focused on how good it was and not the feelings we had while we were playing it. Like my favorite vegetable is a tomato, but Yoon thinks that they're the grossest ever. And you're probably the least popular boy in the school, but I also like hanging out with you the most. Hey? Which was also something I wanted to talk to you about. I like hanging out with you a lot. Stay. Which is weird because after what happened with my mom, I never like hanging out with anyone. So this has been a big surprise for me this year in a lot of ways. I think I like that you let me talk. My cousin never lets me talk. My dad does, but I can tell he's not really listening. Probably didn't sleep at all, out in the cold all night. You're already feeling sick, aren't you? It's okay, you still got this. I mean, all the practice had to count for something. Maybe just try and close your eyes now and get a little sleep on the way over. I'm going to play the recording so the sound of mastery can seep into your subconscious a little, okay? Close your eyes, Ben. I'm going to be there soon. Dad, I don't want to go! In your own time, Benjamin, we are very excited to hear. That's enough. So, Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again? Once you yeah. have a bit more time to practice. Okay. Yes. As you know, Burton isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path. Thank Wherever you. I may take you, okay? All to right. love and happiness. I, I really want to thank you and your mother for coming all the way out here. I know it. Bye bye. Maybe I pushed you too hard. Maybe I turned into my own father. I don't know. You have to find something to focus on. It just the isn't is music, Mom. I'm really good at something. I can't be what you failed to be. I want to be a video gamer. I'm not worried about who you are, Benny. I'm worried about who you're going to become. A Twitch streamer. We want him home from school for a while. Just until this nasty thing clears. Hey, <laughs> El, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh, yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny, okay? Just maybe five minutes, kiddo, okay? She's cheating on Dad with the doctor. He's that or he's about to give her some really bad news about me. We're about to find out. Do I have cancer? Now the question is, if I sit here without blinking for a minute, do they come back? 
Do I get to know more? What do you think, chat? Should I blink, or do you think that maybe they come back? I think I have to blink. Let's see, if I hear another then the audio is repeating. It's looping. We're good. Oh. Oh. This was a crucial time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. No! What? Why am I in my room? Shit. Okay. I, why am I suddenly on the beach? Among trash. Am I dreaming? I think I'm dreaming. Okay. If this isn't video game time, I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Oh god, I'm really blinky. Okay. Why am I sick? There's soup. I'm not making her sick, otherwise she wouldn't be in here. What do I have? Oh, October. Dinner's ready. B, you hear me? What's he doing? He's drawing. He's becoming the sleepy stuff. January. Why isn't there so many of us out? No. You mean young Vincent? <laughs> well, ever since he got sick, all he does is make art. Am I Vincent? Oh, the story's getting nice. I mean, it's a letter. <laughs> you know, I thought my name started with B. Oh, they're making a reference. Or? I thought I'm Benny. And Mr. Benjamin Brin has been awarded first place. Really gotta thank you for this, Benny. Emma Bills is so pissed that weird camera kid won over her multiple horse portrait that she literally just left with her dad in tears. Oh, I mean, mine's much nicer. Yeah, I deserve to win. Van Gogh? Yeah, no, but I, I thought. The random dude asked about me and called me Vincent. It'd be weird if he- maybe- or was it my dad who called me Vincent? Be, oh. Art school application. Question three. In two short paragraphs, describe what makes you want to pursue a career in the arts. I like drawing is my answer. Not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. And although I was hired to teach you, it is a sham. Oh. There is no teaching art. I like that one. So don't just sit there slack, Jod. Make 
Bart, you ponies! Oof. How very wacky and fun these are. It's very zany, very kitsch. No, actually, I don't want this. What's my new thing? It's just the same? Oh, okay. I'm... Okay. There you go, Mr. Brin. What? Feel each shape. I want you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. You see, he has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. I pray you have a strong hold on yourself, Mr. Brin. For I fear a talent like these soon be swept away by a whirlwind. I'm stunned. The ironic sincerity of this piece is so sincerely ironic. He's flipped the discourse so thoroughly, I'm actually dizzy. I feel like I'd like to do realistic stuff more, though. I bet you I go back to that. I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards, and it all probably oh, here we go, weird yeah. and alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I can teach you one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, you open the door. Making a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. I like it as it is. Can I? Huh? Yes, perfect. Marvelous show last week. Truly stunning. I've never been prouder. And one little thing. A birdie told me that Elba Preston Hooper gave you her card. Now, I want you to cut that card into little pieces and feed it to an alley cat. Elba Preston Hooper is not in the business of the arts. Elba Preston Hooper is in the business of business. And you, child, you are no business, man. You are an artist. Don't worry. You're not selling your soul. Who are you? Huh? Oh, shit. No! Well, look at that. You've crumpled my contract. Yeah! <laughs> I will make art from this! Whatever you want, kid. Sure, you got talent. Fuck you! Okay, that's it. Get out it's of It's a social my experiment! Place. You know I'd call security if I thought you were actually a threat. But what are you going to do? Paint me to death? I will paint this memory! <laughs> Farewell! Hello, monsieur. To being a difficult artist. The best of us are. Cheers. <laughs> yes. Ah, this is divine. Mm, oh my so, God. now that you've grown your wings, tell me, young master, where will you fly? To happiness. I will find I mean, my own, my old neighbor, around. Chloe. This American air can be. Stuck. I will settle down. Ah, now what to? If we both only get appetizers, I can afford to go Dutch. Otherwise, I thank you for the dinner.
Time to paint! I will paint the stairway. And it is... Oh shit, did not mean to blink. Well, I botched this painting. <laughs> oh dear. It is the brightness from the sun. What are you? Oh shit, I blinked at the wrong time. A work of art. Let us move on. Wow. Why, what happened? Yes! <laughs> Captivating! Brin reinvents reinvention and then reinvents it again. Rise, I shall! Now, how do I meet Chloe again? Hey, Ben. Don't even pick up this call, okay? I mean it. I'm just calling to inform you that I went to the doctor today, and, well, I'm, I'm going to be a little sick for a while, but really, I, I don't want you worrying about it at all. You're such an important... Oh, Benny, I told you not to pick up. There's nothing you can do for me right now. All you can do is just keep painting, keep striving. You make that work of true genius. I can just tell you're almost there. So, I'm going to hang up the phone now, and you, you're... You're just going to get back to work, okay? Goodbye, Benny. But, that's enough from me. Now, you'll hear from the person who I believe was the single thing in the world my wife was most proud of. Oh, it's really got to me. Her. Magnum opus, so to speak. Huh. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Benny? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to okay. Oh god. I'm gonna blink. Can I blink? Am I okay? Am I allowed to blink? I can blink. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, I have, I have a lot of tears in my eyes. Go on, B. Say something. What's wrong? Why aren't you talking? Hi, Mom. Hey, you. As you know, I talk to big, very important people every day. And there's one thing that everybody is asking me. What's going on with Benjamin Brin? And what am I supposed to say? That I haven't heard from my star pupil in six months? This is getting ridiculous. Yo, fuck you. My mom died. Bumping into her. And 
then I just find myself breaking down again. I hope you understand. Take whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> ah, I'm just so glad you got to speak to her one last time. I mean, I know she told you not to pick up the phone. <laughs> Well, I'm just so happy that you did. She just wanted you to focus on your work. That was the only thing that mattered to her. What's that? That's so fascinating, son. accidentally blinked, but that's that's what I'm going with, I guess. Oh. A work of art. <laughs> Look. It's unbelievable, Benny. I know, right? <laughs> standing in the room with us. Like I can see her in the paint. Thank you. I can feel her too, don't worry. Ah, there it is. Inspired by the musical composition of his late mother, the composer L. Stevens. Relatively unknown in her life, Britain lifted his really work you? Up it, it's obscurity. It's Chloe! Your neighbor! Hi! Oh my god, I can't believe this! It's been years! I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. She's now considered I'd to be one of the great composers of the time. With you. How lovely. I mean, if you were down for that. Of course. I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. I should have guessed it. I mean, with all those little drawings you did. Remember when you still drew my portrait, even when I begged you not to? God, you were such a little jerk back then. And your mom. I always heard her playing piano from next door, but I didn't know she wrote the actual music. She was a genius. Like mother, like son, I guess. Oh, that's cool. So she got more famous, famous hey, so because of my art. Not to be forward, but what are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something? I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. Now would you look at that? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. You finally hit the jackpot, Flapjack. With all the nobody nothings dying every day, you finally sink your hook into a... Whoa! Well, there you are. Well, hello, sir. If I had realized I would have cleaned up, I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but... Whew, Internationally renowned painter? <laughs> the gatekeeper's gonna eat you up. Hey, speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you help me out with the word choice, since, you know, I'm still working on that. See if I'm getting all the strokes right, the proper composition, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Forget about it. All right. Here we go. Gatekeeper! Before you stands the soul of a I'm great dead, guys. Man. This is a st the start of the game. It's now, this guy. Would you describe yourself as a, a happy kid or a lonely one? Oh, fuck. Um. A, uh, a 
a jovial child or Ooh. a I mean, I'd say child. happy. I, I went with drawing. Hey, not bad. I went with, with, with drawing. I chose the path of that made me happy. It was lonely in the beginning, but I'd say all in all, I was pretty happy. I'm gonna go with happy. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home, raised by loving parents in a yeah. great village yeah. by the sea. It's a little, they got a little stressed for a couple of and, years uh, there with the music thing. What did you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? No, she was a composer. His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Kind of like your champion or, or more like a taskmaster? She was kind of demanding, to be honest. Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was over demanding forcing him to practice day yeah. in no, that's accurate. and day out, hoping that he might one day achieve that greatness that she never yeah, could. Yeah, 100%. And how about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? The love of my life. Was she your best friend or your first love? My first love. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. Now from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. Until? But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? See? When he was 12 years old, he got sick, and he had to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten, painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. But be quiet, all of you. With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said, shut up, you, you scum dolls, you lucky fowls. All right, I get it. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. assumed as much anyway. I should probably tell you, those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Oh, yeah, good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Hopefully, you won't be seeing him again. Sap, you know that? Just look at him. 
poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. What? Now don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. What? You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. And I'm sure you're what? right. I'm sure you're the rotten no, soul uh, that I ever fished out of that black muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. What did I... But it's too late for that. We're in this together. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm gonna ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time, I want the truth. What? This ain't a schoolyard staring contest. Days have a tendency Not this. to do that, I guess. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. Doesn't that make you feel happy? You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against... This. Stay here. What did your mother hear on that phone call? Getting it. Thank God. Hello? Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. <gasps> oh! I mean, we knew he. I mean, we figured oh. out he died, right? Oh, really? She, she knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. Let's keep going. What did you just say? And this isn't a trip down memory lane. I yes, I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson that simply being alive wasn't enough so then you went to work to make yourself sensational listen to him richard i'm enlisting him in that competition i thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music not if you win I know you. I'm not worried about who you are, Benny. I'm worried about who you're going to become. Hey, Elle, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? Is Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I. Thank you, Alex. We can focus in. 
I'm sure you stay engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? I mean, what's the point? What? Did it glitch? Hello? Oh. What's the point? Oh. Oh, I see. What do you mean? What's the point? What does that mean? What's the point of any of it? If he's never going to get any better. Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something like that? I'd never forgive myself. I... It's okay. Okay. He's asleep. It's okay. I see. You got sick. You howled at the moon. At the top of your lungs. You were sick for a long time, weren't you? Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. We're almost at the end of this. I promise. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Try writing with it. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. That's the story I want to hear. Story of who you're going to become, okay?
Man, this is wild. You really got into this, didn't you? Oh, here I am. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. First love? Okay, Benny. And you know, we really could have just slept on the beach another night. But I'm also glad we didn't because, well, another night wouldn't be the same night, if that makes sense. Okay, uh, back to the story. He'd loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. Man, you take your doodle seriously. I did not realize, but I respect it. I respect it, I do. You are going to be in there for about 30 minutes, so try to get comfortable. Oh God. You're doing great, buddy. Just a little longer, okay? I'm not gonna blink. I'm not gonna do it. Unless it wants me to do it? Do you think it wants me to blink? Or do you think there's a light at the end of the tunnel? I'm not sure. Guys, I can't look at chat in case it thinks I'm blinking. Do a really bright emote if you think I'm meant to blink. And if not, do Teo's evil if you think I'm meant to not blink here. T I need Teo's evil. I'm seeing the brightness. If I'm meant to not blink, do Teo's evil. I'm gonna have to blink. Ow. Oh, I think I was meant to blink. Knock, knock. Hi. You're gonna be so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading loud from what I think was your story the other night. It was. I know, I know. I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a big fan of anything you do. Can I say yes? I want to say yes. Oh, no. Go in there and tell him you loved it. I'm sorry, I just can't. I just can't. Not right now. Okay, don't worry. Just go to bed. I'll talk to you. Hey, B. Just want you to know that Mom loved your story. She's just, you know, I think it was just very emotional for her to read. But I, I thought it was great. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home, raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. I mean, I'm certainly glad you feel that way. But what I want to know is, where'd you learn to write so well? All those cool words! It reads like Dickens! <laughs> really just very cool stuff, kiddo. You should be very proud, okay? Hmm. It's really emotional. Oh god, okay. <laughs> uh. What? No. No. Stop it. How do I choose not to write? to write this.
I'm crying. I think I have to blink. if I can resist this or not. I don't think I can. Try closing your eyes. It might help you remember. So if he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand it hits mothers the hardest, this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been, uh, it's been a rough one. Come in. Oh God. Wait, does this mean I'm in pain? Yo. Okay. Hey, Eddie. Yeah. Hey, man. It's Richard. Listen, I know L's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. Yeah, no, that's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. Yes, I understand you have a business to run. It's a very <laughs> cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. Okay, well, well then I guess all I can say is screw you too. I said, screw you too. Yeah, man, that's all I got. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I happen to actually know about this stuff. So the fact that you are faking just so you don't have to go to school with me is... I remember when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. I mean, not as tough as now, but yeah, her music had been rejected and she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here. And I feared that yeah, I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano and it's your little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. 
So... I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. figure out how to play that. Keep playing, B. She's listening. do you want me to play for? This is gonna, this is repeating, right? I have so much water in my eyes. I have to blink. Just so happy she's here. What? We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. Oh, her poor fur. Richard, we have to give Ernie a haircut, okay? I'm getting her a sashimi plate. <laughs> what? What? I think she more than deserves it. Oh, I think you're right. Oh, this is awful. I have to like. No! She hasn't been over. Like, she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with- okay, Do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey. What? No, I don't want to die. Chloe, you better fucking call me. Shit! Oh my god, you're an idiot. You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. I, um... I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that. But... <sighs> hey! What are you looking at? Don't look up there! Look at me! I'm talking to you. I want to give you something. 
but I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. Close your eyes now, okay? Dear weird neighbor kid, you are my first love. Love, Chloe. Why, why can't I take my pills? What is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again? Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. What do you like about it? Ah, uh, not this old trap. Go on. I'm waiting. Well, it made me feel like... Like... Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed, maybe it's not so unspeakable. Nailed it, didn't I? Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good. For a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Ugh. I know just what to tell her. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. 
I should go get ready. Don't worry. We got this. I think. She is. Wish me luck. Gatekeeper, before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. That means she's ready to hear your story. Uh, okay. You know, I never told you how much I loved your story. Really, so imaginative, and the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy. My only issue was well, I didn't like him very much, so I wanted to read you something I wrote for you, which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now. It's called the Great Life of Benjamin Brin. <clears throat> Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home to an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live, which only made him forget the great life he already had, how he had filled a new home with light and joy and promise, how he met a girl, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world and made her feel okay again. And how, even when he was sick, he still gave his parents hope. How he reminded them exactly who they were after they had almost forgotten. So when he knew he was going to go, he was okay. Because he'd already lived a great life, a full life. And he was everything he needed to be, just as he was. Hi, Mom. Close your eyes now and keep them closed. <laughs> She's going to let you in. Go on. You know what to do. Am I meant to be closing them? Yeah? Okay. Sorry. He's smiling like that. <laughs> smiling like that. It must be somewhere that he likes. That's right. <laughs> Can I? For your eyes. Okay.
escape i clicked space space is literally to recalibrate so it just opens this up okay oh. uh. <laughs> it's it's spaces to recalibrate so I, I i thought that would skip it maybe i'm sorry You want to know what I thought? For like half a second, I thought that it skipped the credits and was doing a in loving memory of and a picture. There's like a split second in which I thought that it was like a 
that it was like a like a picture of someone who had died. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh god, my emotions. My emotions. God, how do I skip this? Hi. Oh, it's literally just this. Oh, it's okay. Oh. Yeah, what did you guys think of the game? Uh, uh, oh. oh. It's good, wasn't it? I take it there was no way that I could have skipped the cancer and gone on with my life. I kept thinking like maybe if I keep my eyes open in this scene, I'll be okay. But I, it seemed like it just wanted to tell the story and there was no way to avoid the death. God, I cried so much. I don't know, I've been real emotional during Corona days, you know? I think, uh... <sighs> I needed that, I needed that cry. You know? <laughs> I needed that cry. <sighs> I really want to hug my parents now. I can hug my dad soon. He got vaccinated a few days ago, so I'm just waiting. And like another week and I can hug him. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, it's so oh, it's so emotional. Come on, dear. Oh, it's okay. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Cool. 